Hi, my name is Rebecca Chippendale. I'm the Graduate Recruitment Manager for AMP and AMP Capital. Really excited to share with you today a little bit more around our business and who we are, and also more about what our graduate program is all about. You'll also hear from one of my colleagues, Rob Morris, who's a graduate alumni and has recently completed our graduate program. Rob's in our technology business and really keen to share a bit more about his journey and how he's found that program and where he's rolled off into after the program as well. So a little bit about me, I've been with AMP for three years managing the graduate recruitment process. We've actually just wrapped up our recruitment process for our 2021 cohort. A little bit different this year, we obviously did everything virtually, uh, which gave us some really great new opportunities to meet with people in a different way. Um, I'm actually in our CQ office at the moment. If you look behind me, you'll see there's not many people back in the office yet, but that will slowly start to change over the next month or two. Tell you a little bit more around AMP and who we are. The easiest way to think about it is there's almost two sides to our business. There's AMP Australia or AMP Group, as you may know it, and there's AMP Capital. We run our graduate program across both sides of the business, each just housing different business streams, so depending on where your interest is or, or where your career aspirations align. So AMP Australia or AMP Group is where our core personal finance business sits. So that's things like wealth management financial planning, the AMP bank and retail banking facilities, um, our superannuation, mortgages business, and we're formerly our insurance business sat as well. This also includes some of our core group functions like technology, legal, compliance, risk, and human resources. AMP Capital is our investment management side of the business. So that's where you'll see business areas like public markets, which is where our multi-asset groups, equity, fixed income sit, and where our portfolio and investment management teams are. We also have asset groups around real estate and property, and also infrastructure, which is one of our core areas across AMP Capital. Within AMP Capital, they do also hold those core functions of finance, technology, risk, and human resources as well. So our graduate program, as I mentioned, runs across both sides of the business. We typically recruit into about 10 different streams of the business, which means 10 different parts of our business. So to give you an idea, this year we recruited across our AMP Australia, financial services, legal, technology, and accounting and finance. And in AMP Capital, we recruited across public markets, real estate, finance, and our global distribution and business management area. Now, Global Distribution Business Management, or GDBM as it sounds, a little bit of a mouthful, but uh, that's typically what we refer to as the engine room of investment management or AMP Capital. So they do everything around our products, distribution channels, marketing, core sales and communications, um, and managing all the client services for our asset management, investment management business. Typically, we would say that if you wanted to work in investment management or asset management, that you didn't want to manage directly a portfolio, which is what you would in public markets, then you would look at an area like GDBM where you still get all of that core exposure, but you're not managing directly a portfolio like our investment managers do. In terms of uh, when we look at technology students and applications for our technology business, the great news is technology actually spans across all areas of our business. We run a full end-to-end in-house function across both AMP Australia and AMP Capital. So we see university graduates who may have a really core interest in investment management, but from a technology perspective, they will often look to work within rotations of our technology stream within AMP Capital. We may have um, students or candidates who are interested in more core functions around personal financial services and banking, and they may opt for opportunities within our AMP Australia business. So in terms of our graduate program, we run a two-year graduate program where students apply to go into a particular business unit or stream of the program. Within that two years, you would rotate four times within that stream. So for example, if you went into our technology business, you may rotate through cybersecurity, um, digital, strategy and architecture, uh, change management, project management, cloud, um, systems design, information solutions, and so forth. There's about a range of about 20 different options for you to rotate through, and they are self-select options. So over that two year period, you would select four of those rotations to nom it to rotate through over six month periods. The whole idea being that you get this real breadth of exposure within the graduate program. 
Now we um, typically don't expect that graduates will come straight out of university and know exactly what it is they want to do. You may know where your interests are and what you're passionate about, but it's always really interesting obviously to come in and try different areas to make sure that you're able to really identify that core passion of yours. So we opt to have a rotational program which enables you to do just that, so that over that two year period you really get to look at a number of different areas across the business before really making that decision about where you see your career and where you'd like to roll off to post program. There are also opportunities for you to um, complete rotations out of stream. So for example, you may come into the technology stream and complete three rotations in technology, and you may really have an interest in doing a business rotation. So you may then opt to do a rotation within GDBM, for example. That's something we will absolutely try and accommodate to give you that breadth of exposure before you make that final career decision as well. Now, in terms of our graduate recruitment process, it's a very uh, typical graduate recruitment process, um, but what we do try to do is give you as much insight and information as we possibly can throughout that process. So we generally spend quite a bit of time on campus and chatting to students and candidates to make sure you've got as much information as possible. And then what we would do is open up our online applications, which are typically open from late February to late March each year. Once online applications are closed, you would then go through an online assessment, followed by a short video interview, and then if you're successful, you'd progress to the final round of recruitment, which would be an assessment centre. That typically takes place um, on site here in CQ in Sydney's in a circular key building. Uh, this year we obviously did it virtually, um, but those assessment centres aim to give you a range of different activities and opportunities to network, meet different people from across the part of the business you've shown an interest in, and really make sure it's the right opportunity for you as you step into your graduate program. Hi, my name is Rob and I'm a cloud engineer at AMP Limited. I joined the AMP grad program in 2018. Unlike some of you considering joining the grad program, my background actually isn't in computer science or IT. I studied a double degree in economics and mechanical engineering at ANU. After university, I wanted to get into semiconductor manufacturing and make computer chips. But um, unfortunately, it's not really a pragmatic option if you don't want to go overseas, which I didn't want to, at least at that point. Looking around at the options available to me, I thought, well, I like technology and I have this interest in economics and finance. Why not try and blend the two and go for a technology role within financial services? I saw AMP were doing a mid-year intake, so I thought, you know, why not? In my time during the grad program, I had a wide variety of opportunities that exposed me to the many different parts of the business. I started out as a business analyst within enterprise data and integration. This was trying to determine the requirements to integrate many of the different databases that we have. I then moved on to a cyber analyst role within the cybersecurity team, where I would consider the security implications of solutions put forward by the business. From here, I became a system administrator for Gold360. That's a product that AMP offers to its financial advisors to help them determine the needs of their clients. Finally, I moved into the role that I am in today. I'm in the cloud team as an engineer, helping manage the servers that AMP has in the cloud. It's a really technical job, which I really enjoy, without needing to code, which suits me just fine. Part of the grad program is finding out how many different opportunities there are within IT. From project and change management, to programming and data analysis, I think that the grad program has something for everybody. But to be honest, you probably don't know what you want out of a job. I didn't. Before I started, I didn't know anyone in IT or anyone doing software engineering at all, really. One of the biggest challenges I had was figuring out what it actually means to do IT, and especially within a larger organization. And as a part of that, the most important thing, I think, is what do I actually enjoy doing in a job? You have to do it every day, so you might as well enjoy it. Do I enjoy having a role where I'm in and out of meetings, talking to people all day? Or do I more prefer a role where I can just chuck on some headphones and code all day without anybody bothering me? Being able to rotate through four different areas of the business made me learn what I liked, and most importantly, what I didn't. My tip? is not to limit yourself to the degree that you just studied. Instead, try and figure out why you enjoyed the parts of the degree that you do. Uh, like many graduates, 
I don't work in the field that I studied in. And odds on, you're probably not going to either. But I do get to solve complex problems in a technical way, and really, that's kind of what I enjoyed about my degree. So keep an open mind and submit as many applications as you can. You might find there are more opportunities than you thought. We've spoken a little bit around uh, who AMP is, uh, what our graduate program is about in terms of structure and opportunities available at different streams of our business. Uh, and obviously, uh, Rob has provided the insight into his experience as a graduate and rolling off that program from a technology perspective as well. The other thing I'm really keen to share with you and what I absolutely encourage you to take into account when you're thinking around what your great best graduate move will be uh, is the development program that goes alongside your graduate rotations or graduate placements. The development program um, is something which the cohort as a whole goes through together. So when you start your graduate program with AMP, you'll start as part of a graduate cohort. You all start at the same time and you come in really as a ready-built network within the business, which means from day one you've got friendships established, you've got a network across various parts of the business, which is so handy when you're trying to understand how a business works or who you should talk to about what when you're doing new tasks. And then what you'll also do is go through your development and training schedule together as well. So over that two-year period of the graduate program, there's a number of development milestones and development programs which you will go through as a team or a cohort together. This is alongside your on-the-job training. So when you're in a particular rotation or the rotation you've nominated that you'd like to build your skills within, you'll get direct on-the-job training of the particular skills required for that rotation. So for example, if you opt to do a cybersecurity rotation, during the six months of that rotation, you would have on-the-job learning, skills training, and you would also attend any workshops or training workshops needed for that particular rotation. Similar to as if you were doing a change management or a business management rotation, you would do the on-the-job learning and skills training required for that particular part of the business. Alongside that though, you have this development framework and training framework that you go through as a graduate cohort. And they're really to develop the skills that will see you, that you'll require ongoing through your career. So those core personal attributes around things like leadership management, uh, adaptability and resilience, the ability to work within various teams, communication skills, negotiating, influencing presentation skills, a number of different workshops and training opportunities that really build you holistically as an individual and as an employee that you can really take those skills throughout your entire career, regardless of where you may end up or the type of role you may end up in postgraduate program as well. The brilliant opportunity that also comes along with that development program is also a Obviously the networking opportunities. So very quickly graduates within the business can really build their profile across the business by meeting with a number of different leaders, managers, colleagues, peers across the business, not just within your stream or rotation, but the business as a whole because that graduate program really spans the width of AMP Capital and AMP. So you'll have various networking opportunities, various um, training and development opportunities, whether they be formal workshops or development days or programs, whether they be informal formal lunch and learn sessions, information sessions, um, mentoring or networking sessions with leaders across the business. Also things like volunteer days and opportunities and fundraising events, um, which we're very keen for our graduates to be involved in and which the graduates really like to take ownership for as well. So there's a number of different opportunities from a personal development, individual development and cohort network development as well, which goes alongside your graduate program. So just to wrap up, as I mentioned, typically our graduate recruitment goes from late February to late March for applications each year. We then conduct our graduate recruitment process, which the last stage is the assessment centre. And from there, we would make offers to successful candidates, typically for them to start in the February of the following year. So if you're wrapping up your studies in that year, you'd then have a bit of a break period over the summer and then start with us as a cohort in the February.
So should you have any questions, um, hopefully this has given you a lot of information, but it may also raise some questions or interest areas for you, which is great. So if you'd like to touch base with me at all or follow up with any questions, um, my name was Rebecca Chippendale. Please feel free to link in with me or on our AMP Graduates website is the email address for our graduate recruitment team. So you can absolutely contact us at any time. I wish you all the best with your journey through your studies and also your graduate applications. And I hope we get the chance to meet with you in the future. Thanks very much.